Yeah, so uh, it's 2021, and Brightmore is uh, burning. This is the f There's actually a house fire on the next street over right now. Uh, actually, it's not a house fire. I'm sorry. It's a shed behind the Theobald house there. But uh, this went up last night, New Year's Eve, or actually New Year's morning. Well, there's two houses that were here. Uh, they're completely gone. Just completely gone. Uh, unbelievable. And then uh, this house over here was torched last night as well. And a house on Eliad Street was torched as well which is back over there this house here was torched last night I'll show you it looks like we got a, a dumper too that's new all that stuff right here is been dumped on side on top of that garage. This here was uh, on fire last night as well. It's all brand new. It, is, it smells fresh. Crazy. Looks like we got another fire going on here. Holy crap. And this fucker's going. Holy shit. Never ending here. been going on for about ever since the New Year's we've had probably about 10 houses going up in the neighborhood here uh, this one de definitely wasn't viable there's no excuse for all this though God bless the Detroit Fire Department. So 
We're, uh... <laughs> about 10 houses in here. Into the new year. This is about the 10th house that's been... Set on fire here in Brightmoor since New Year's. It's cold. It's putting all of these... All these firefighters at risk, puts our neighbors at risk. I mean, look at all of this. Look at all of our resources being squandered. Over abandoned houses being torched over here. This is absolutely crazy. We have all the investigators out here too. They're trying to figure out who the hell is doing all of this. Uh, we're over, over at Riverdale in Midland. <clears throat> This thing was sky high. I actually uh, took video before. Uh, before uh, I went live here because I couldn't go live sooner. But This thing was shooting probably about 30 foot flames out the top of it. It was just huge, huge fire. Yeah, definitely, Jay. Non-stop entity. You know, and it puts all of these guys at risk for no reason. For no, no reason at all. Except for somebody wants to be a firebug. We don't have much left here. Yeah, it's definitely an abandoned home. It's over on the corner of Midland. It's going to be on the northeast-hand side of Midland and Riverdale. Yeah, what, we're like day 10, and about as many homes have gone up in flames. You know, most of them are all abandoned, but, you know, this is where we live. You know, we've got people that live over here, um, up the middle of the block and that sort of deal. And, and we've got to, whenever we hear this stuff, I mean, we cringe, we shudder. We don't, we don't want the houses next to us caught on fire like this. God bless DPD. I mean, uh, DFD. <laughs> Detroit Fire Department. They're one of the most trustworthy things going on in the city of Detroit. Right on. Sorry, I'm shaking. It's a little bit cold out here. I didn't expect it to be coming out here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, you know, usually uh, the city's been doing pretty good over the last couple of years, and these houses that's gone up like this have gone to the ground, and they've demolished them, so who knows? You're right, this thing ain't going to go up like that again. They're up in there. You can see the fire department. They're up in the roof right there. See, this is the dangerous part about what they're doing. You know, as they're trying to get rid of that fire up in the roof. And we've got office. We've got literally men inside there trying to put out that fire. It's putting them at risk.
Yeah, this is an unoccupied home. For anybody that's wondering. Yeah, this thing was on fire. I mean, I'll show you pictures of of it, what it looks like tomorrow morning, but there's not going to be much left of the roof here. That roof was really rolling. Unbelievable. Ten days in, and this is what we get. Isn't that a picture, huh? All right, I'm gonna get off here. Still got a flame up there, out of control. It's a hot spot.